Scott goes in motion. It's an end around to Boston Scott. Takes off outside, and he picks up 10 yards and a first down. Yeah, or right, very close. Right away, they're working the edge, and they do a really nice job. The Eagles do offensively is not allowing any penetration. Scott's able to run along parallel to the line of scrimmage until he sees a little daylight on the outside, and he, then he gets north-south. They stopped him two yards short. They say he stepped out at the 34-yard line. So it is second and two. He goes with Miles Sanders to the right of Wentz in the backfield. They go double tight end with Ertz and Goddard. This time, back goes Wentz. He fires and he completes it to Ertz. And he is very close to a first down. But still, he may be a hair short. He makes the catch and he is about a half a yard short. Yeah, he, he catches the ball, Mayor, with the momentum pulling him back towards the line of scrimmage. It's one of these little speed outs. But if he's, if he's able to catch it staying flat, it's easily a first down. But it's, he's kind of pulled back towards the line of scrimmage. And, yeah, now it's third and short. Greg Ward comes in the game. Wentz under center. Wentz is very good at the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and they're giving him enough space to quarterback sneak right here. Those two tackles are spread wide enough. Wentz does sneak, and Wentz does pick up the first down with two yards to spare following Jason Kelsey right up the middle. See, I don't even think you have to think about it. When you have those two tackles in there, and they're split wide, and the, the center is uncovered, you have to go right up the middle. It's an easy first down call. Almost unstoppable. It's ball on their own 18, moving from left to right. Motion, Sterling Shepard. First down play, hand off to Barkley, and Barkley is brought down. He's going to lose a yard. Ronald Darby came blitzing in on Barkley and spilled him for a loss of, now they say, three yards in the backfield. Hey, Vinny Curry does an outstanding job here coming down the line of scrimmage, and he's the first one there to disrupt the play. Yes, he gets help from other black shirts, but it's Vinny Curry that really gets in there to get this thing going. But this is as light as it is. It is third and seven. Can the Eagles make them go one, two, three, and out? They go with a double tight end. Manning in an empty backfield as Barkley is flanked to the near side, his right. Manning calling for the football. He's back. Here comes the rush. He fires, and it's incomplete. Wide of Barkley, but the pressure was what made that pass go early and wild. And you know Eli's not going to hold on to the football. He wants to get the ball out as quickly as possible. He's got a wide open target, but he just does not want to take that hit. And it's an errant pass. First defensive 44. Their own 44 for a first down. Three receivers left. Jeffrey out to the far side. The right. Wentz in the gun. Let's see if he can get some time. He's back. He fakes. He looks. He dumps it off. Running with the football across the 40. And up to the 45. Has a first down, I believe. is Miles Sanders. But we'll see where they spot it. You know, I think he's going to be just half yard. Uh, less than a yard shy of the first down. But this is a timely call by Doug Peterson. You know you need a lot. He gets a screen pass out to Miles Sanders, and he's got Brooks out in front of him. They do a really nice job of getting it close. Now they want to go hurry up to try and get a first down. It is four side. Smith, the tight end. Back goes Manning. He looks. He floats it over the middle, and the Eagles are all over the receiver. Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley is brought down at the... Line of scrimmage, basically. Yeah, that's a really nice job of recognizing that screen and getting out there and making a play. It'll be second down and ten. And it's Nathan Gary who does such a nice job of, of reading what they're doing and able to flow to the football and then a lot of other bodies getting to the ball. His backfield with Eli Manning. It is second down and 17 from midfield. Manning takes the snap. He's back. He's looking, still looking, fires to the near side. It's incomplete. It was fired over to Caden Smith, the tight end, and he juggled the football as he was being hit by Nathan Gary and puts the Giants in third down and long. I tell you what, it's, a four, it's only a four-man rush, but it's really effective because the guys on the back end playing in zone defense, they're able to really rally to the football, and even if that ball is on target, they may pick up two yards, and that's all they would get. That is third and 17. Giants have to get to the Eagles 33 for a first down. Manning lines them up. And Buck Allen stays in. Now he goes wide. Empty backfield for Manning. 
Manning calls for the ball. He's back. He's looking. He fires. He completes it, but it's way short of a first down as Sterling Shepard makes the catch. But at the 43-yard line, the original line of scrimmage, and the Giants do nothing but the turnover and have to punt. Duke Sanders and brings him back into the backfield to his right. Second and eight. Wentz takes the snap. He looks. He goes over the middle. He completes it out to the 11-yard line to Zach Ertz. Six-yard pickup. And that's a smart play. You know, you, you got to get it out quickly. You don't want to risk anything this close to your goal line. You got Zach Ertz on an easy throw right in the middle of the defense. And now you got a third and two. And that's a pretty good situation to be in. Eagles have one for three in short yardage. And the last time it was a sneak by Wentz resulting in a fumble. Now Wentz is in the shotgun with Sanders to his right. Slot to either side. Motion. Ertz. Wentz calling for the football. He gives it off to Sanders. He's got the first down across the 15 up to the 16-yard line where Leonard Williams makes the stop. But if you give Miles Sanders a little bit of daylight, he can pick up five yards like that. And that's a really nice job of scheming up a run. You kind of spread the defense with what they're doing. You motion Zach Ertz to the inside a little bit, and you can tell they're playing zone, and they're able to handle the guys at the line of scrimmage and get him to the second level. Four minutes to play in the opening quarter. Nothing, nothing. First thing in the gun. Slot to the near side of the field. Barkley to his left. Back goes Manning. He pumps. He fires over the middle. And he completes it back to the original line of scrimmage. And that is it. Barkley catches it. Or Smith this time. Yep, they pulled they're it saying, out. They're saying incomplete. Incomplete. He had it and they never held it long enough. He dumps it off to his tight end, Smith, and he's beaten down at the 35-yard line. And that's the last play of the first quarter with no score in the game on the Eagles radio network presented by PNC Bank. Make today the, the day. The first quarter. You're right, on 94 WIP. Uh. Wing to the near side. On first down, it is a running play. Sanders breaks a tackle. He's at the 30, and he steps out of bounds at the 34. Nice job by Miles Sanders. Dean Buchanan knocked him out, but that was a nine-yard gain. Much better. And this is just an individual effort because there's a chance that he's going to get stopped right at the line of scrimmage by the cornerback or, or the safety, Julian Love. And he's able to get away from Julian Love, the safety, and get down the field. Julian gave him some love. That is Alshon Jeffrey. Wentz looks. Gives to Ajayi, who backs his way forward, gets a block behind to help him, and has the first down. Ertz banged into Ajayi and created the thrust he needed. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to get this first down because he was one yard shy of the line to gain, and he does get a push from Kelsey along with Zach Ertz, and they push him over the mark. That was it. (laughs) First and ten. Sanders behind him. Slot to the far side. Jeffrey to the near side. Motion. Now Wentz. Back under center. On first down, he drops. He looks. He pumps. Now he's rolling to his left. Now he's rolling to his right. Motioning downfield. He is looking for Ertz. He's got it at the 40. He's down into the 38. Wentz did a very good job of extending that play and hitting Zach Ertz for a 25-yard gain. He really needed Zach Ertz because... Right on the snap, Alshon Jeffrey pulled up lame. He limps off of the field while Wentz is scrambling around trying to find someone downfield. This is an outstanding job by your quarterback, just keeping the play alive until he finds his target downfield. And he found them looking. He is firing, and it is complete. Ertz at the 15, at the 10, down to the 7 goes Zach Ertz. That guy knows how to get open. When all else fails, Zach Ertz is going to find, especially when they're playing zone, he's going to find the void in the zone, and Carson Wentz just drops a dime on Zach Ertz. Eagle. Yeah, and that's what they needed. Now they get the crowd into it, and everyone here at the link starting to have a little more fun. Sanders to the left of Wentz. Wing to the near side. Motion. Right ward. Wentz back. He's looking left. He's looking right. He's still looking. Now he starts to run. He's pumping. He stopped. Penalty fly down. Fires. And it is caught for a touchdown as reaching up and taking it as Greg Ward. However, there's a penalty flag thrown that may be holding against the Eagles. Tell you what, there's a lot of running around. (laughs) 
This is this goes goes back to backyard. When you start to move Holding. around that much, and, and you know you're going to get a hold somewhere along the way. Greg Ward made a great move to extricate himself and make the catch. Center. He fumbles the football, looks for it. Let's see who has it. I think the Giants, Sparkly has it back. Yep, they got it was it back. there for a moment, and the Eagles just didn't react and get the ball. Saquon Barkley is such a talented football player. But this time, Eli puts it on the ground, and he's fumbling around with it, but then the ball gets kicked back into the backfield where Barkley's able to get on it. They got a break. They got a break. It's a second and goal from the 16. Side. Tate in the slot. Slayton to the near side. Manning comes up, says something to the center. He has Barkley to his left. Manning takes the snap. He's back. He's looking. He's looking. He is firing, and it is incomplete. From the 16. Manning lines them up. Slot to the near side. Slayton. Manning calling for the football. He's back again. He fires deep into the end zone, and it's incomplete. Incomplete. Jalen Mills breaks it up. It was intended for Shepard, and the field goal unit comes on. Great coverage by Jalen Mills on the play. A really good job of getting the pass rush, closing up that pocket around Eli, forcing that throw. The fans did their part. They brought the noise. Jalen Mills on the back end of this play, breaking up the pass. Yeah, he did. Manning on first down. Goes to Barkley, tries to get outside. He can't. He is gang tackled up the line of scrimmage, led by Ronald Darby. I tell you what, that is an outstanding job of setting the edge because that's where it all begins. And I think it's Jalen Mills this time that sets the edge and forces Saquon Barkley to try and go back inside. Now, if you can get him going north-south, you've got a problem. But when you force him to dance, when you force him to go laterally, then you've got a chance. It is second down and nine from the six. The Eagles have got to stop them right here. Force them to punt, get some field position, and wake up. Yeah, and Eli's got single coverage on the outside. It is second down and nine. Manning in the gun. Manning backs up into the end zone, pumps. He is firing, and it is long, incomplete. Golden Tate had a hand on it. He could not bring it in. It was overthrown by Eli Manning, and that puts the Giants in a third down and nine from their own six-yard line. Very similar offenses. You'll see this a lot of times by the Eagles when that slot receiver, they'll give him all the space in the world to just try and outrun the guy on a fade route, and that's the primary target. They know they've got man coverage, but this one just slightly overthrown, intended for Golden Tate. Avante Maddox. Running with him. And his third nine. Can the Eagles stop them right here? Manning and the gun standing at the one. Barkley to his right. Manning back. He is rolling, 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 directing traffic. And finally he fires it, but it's out of bounds. Going up was Tate, but he was out of bounds. And the Giants will have to punt. Nigel Branham made sure that he was out of bounds because when he goes up to catch the football, Nigel Branham just catches him and rides him completely out of bounds. An outstanding job here. I love the defensive call. They're not single coverage. They're going to go zone this time. They're going to rush, but they're going to drop coverage and make sure that they're not giving up an easy throw versus man coverage. Do you put Giants lead. 17 to 3. That is third and 10. Barkley stays in to the right of Manning. Manning back. He steps up. He's looked. He's got him back across the 15. See, Vinny Curry with a sack. Much better job this time, Merrill, of locking up the receivers downfield. And again, it's just a four-man rush, but because they're able to get underneath coverage, they're able to get safeties over the top, there's nowhere for Eli to go with the football. He got him on the sack. Sack brought to you by Stakem, contributing to Stop Hunger in Philadelphia by donating. $100 through every sack throughout the season to fill abundance. And the board backs up. He takes it at the 32, runs up the left sideline. He's across the 40, 45, and runs out of bounds up at the 47 or 48-yard line. Pushed out by Scott Simonson. 53-yard punt, 12-yard return. Quickly down to Howard. Wide. Can the Eagles make them two for eight? Manning 
in an empty backfield. Manning takes the snap. Here comes the rush. He pumps. He fires. And it's incomplete. Intended for tape. Broken up by Jenkins. Yeah, Malcolm Jenkins reads this thing so perfectly. The Eagles stop them again. Manning with Barkley to his left. Manning takes the snap. He's back. Here comes the rush. He steps up. He throws it. And it's incomplete. Goes over the middle for Caden Smith, the tight end. And they go one, two, three, and out. Love the way this defense, they're getting after Eli Manning. They break down the right side of that Giants offensive line. They force Eli to slide and then an errant throw because of the pressure. Love the way this defense, they're starting to hum right now. Defense has been it's another running play. And it is Miles Sanders coming forward for about four. Eagles have not abandoned the running game, nor should they. There's plenty of time left in this game. Almost seven minutes to go in the third quarter, and they're down by two touchdowns. But they've got to start moving the football. They got five yards that time. Once, I'd like to see them with a wide receiver having a step on his man. Wentz, again in the gun. Again, he goes back, and it is Sanders this time for about a yard and a half. That's it. It's going to be hard to make a living. Yeah. Just running the ball between the tackles against this Giants defense. It is third and five. There was nothing there. In comes Boston Scott. Eagles are three for 12 on third down conversions. That is awful. Early in the season, they were far, far better. Wentz in an empty backfield. Now he repositions Scott, who goes in motion to the far side. Wentz looks, fires. He's got Scott. He's got a first down. And Scott thrown out of bounds in giant territory down at the 43-yard line. Yeah, it's, it, and it's a good thing he's got Scott. It's, he uses that speed to get out on the perimeter, and Carson hits him with the perfect throw, allowing him to get upfield. Now, Miles Sanders on that play previous jogs off to the sideline and with a little bit of a limp so we you may have to depend on Boston Scott it is third now there's a penalty flag thrown let's see it's Scott stays in three receivers to the near side lone receiver to the far side Wentz in the gun Wentz takes the snap he's back he looks goes over the middle and it is juggled is it held I yep. think it is it is held over the middle by Josh Perkins Juggled it and came down with it and picks up a first down. That's what happens when you have first and five. Now it's first and ten at the Giants 32. J.J. Arthega Whiteside, who has yet to be targeted tonight, out to the far side of the field. Now three receivers to the far side. Urge to the near side. Wentz in the gun. Scott to his left. Wentz back. He's looking. He fires. Diving reception. Coming up with it is Ertz. He's close to another first down. Sam Beal in coverage. That'll be second down and one. Carson seems to be much more comfortable now with going without the huddle, getting his guys to the line of scrimmage, and operating from there. Second. Wentz gives off to Scott. He's got a first down. He's at the 20. He's at the 15. He's down to the 13. Boy, that burst. What a burst. He gets to the second level so quickly, like a hiccup, into the second level, and a big, big first down. In the Giants territory. Healy's, the Eagles in the Mealy's red zone. $100 donation to Justice Rescue. First and 10. Slot to the near side. Lone receiver to the far side. Wentz in the gun. Wentz off to Scott again. Up the middle. He crawls across the 10 and takes it down to about the 8. Ogletree stops him right there, but he has a burst. Yeah, this is a little guy with a lot of speed. Now they're going to bring in the thumper <laughs> because... You know, when you get down close like this, they like Jay Ajayi, but boy, I like what Boston Scott has done to get them here. It is second down and five. Slot to the far side. Greg Ward's on the near side. If the Eagles could have snapped it, they would have had the Giants with an extra man on the field. Now the Giants jump. I think the Giants jump this time. They're claiming now they're going to call the Eagles with a false start. Oh, my goodness. False start. Offense. Number 86. Five-yard penalty, second down. Trying to watch of, this. Yeah, you know, a lot of movement going on by the Giants. They're having issues with their substitution. Oh, I, don't, I don't know about with that, With their Mike. substitution, and all the Eagles really needed to do was snap the football early 
and they would have caught the Giants with too many men on the field. Mike, I'm watching it. I don't see enough to call movement, and neither does Ertz. And it's to get to the four for a first down. Wentz in the gun again. He's back. He's looking. He fires, and it is caught down at the six-yard line by J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. It'll put the Eagles... And a third down and three and, and from I the tell, six. When you're a receiver and they throw you that slant down low like that and you're able to go down and cradle, you think the quarterback, you know you're not going to take a big collision and you're still able to get closer to pay dirt. Boston and Barkley is pulled down. Now he goes wide and they push him out of bounds. They were about to pull him down and he suddenly straightened up and pushed his way forward, and then they caught up with him and threw him out of bounds after a gain of only a yard, and that's a big play. That is a big play. When he gets only a yard, he's got in, in a little bit of a, a chicken fight with Ronald Darby, and Darby never allows him to get his shoulders turned to get upfield. And there is the end of the third quarter with the score. The Giants 17, the Eagles 10 on the Eagles radio network. Presented by PNC Bank. Make today the day on 94 WIP. Manning lines up with Barkley to his left. Wing to the far side. Slot to the near side. Manning takes the snap. He's back. He's looking. He is firing and it's incomplete. Incomplete. He wanted Sterling Shepard and threw it too high. And the Giants will have to punt. And that's just a miss by Eli. He's, yep. got, he's got decent protection. Yeah, he's got to get rid of it. But the pocket is solid. And it's just an off-target throw by Eli. Side. Ertz, a wing to the near side. Under center is Wentz. On first down, Wentz into a long count. He screens out to the far side. Breaking a tackle, moving forward across the 20, up to the 24, goes Greg Ward, and across the 25, up to the 26. 13 yards on the screen to Greg Ward. Yeah, really nice job out there. Making the first guy miss is Greg Ward, and you know that's the key to that play being successful, that he's able to run away from the initial contact and get downfield. Slot to the near side, wing to the far side, first and 10. This time it is another running play, and pushing forward is Boston Scott. Not much there is Dexter Lawrence, who is about twice as big as Boston Scott, brings him down after a short game. And I hate seeing this. Greg Ward's now with a little bit of a limp himself after that play down the sideline. But he stays at his second and eight. Wentz takes the snap. He screens it out. Scott. Scott makes a man miss. He's got a first down. He's got more. He's at the 40. He's at the 45. Boston Scott. Yeah, I think I think we've got a, a Darren Sproles number two on our hands. You know, this is a, a really good job of recognizing what the defense is doing. That was the reason for lining Scott up out wide, then bringing him in back behind the line of scrimmage. They understand it's zone. We're going to get him out on a little swing route and let him just do his thing. Excellent play call. First and 10 up at the 45. And the gun. Scott to his left. Wentz screens it over. He goes to Perkins. And Perkins has the first down. Gets it to Perkins who puts his head down and picks up the first down. Good play. And this is just recognizing where you are on the field. Josh Perkins catches the football. Knows exactly where that marker is. He doesn't run side to side. He immediately puts his foot in the ground, heads north-south, and gets beyond the first down marker. Eagles getting plays from some less than household names. First, 17 to 10, 11.45 to go in regulation. Slot to the far side, wing to the near side. Scott behind Wentz, who's under center on first down. Wentz fakes to Scott. He looks. Now he screens. Scott, Scott swings away from 40, across the 35, across the 30. Boston Scott, he's having a coming out party tonight at the link. Whoa. <laughs> I love this screen pass, and it's timely. There's a big congestion in the middle of the field. Then little Boston Scott, he slides out to the left side behind a couple of big bodies, and he's able to hide behind those big bodies and advance the football. Now he comes out for a breath. 
11-10 remaining in regulation. And I think that's all it is. I think Deuce just will bring him to the side just to catch his breath and put him right back in the ball game. First and 10 at the 28. Miles Sanders back in. Bucks backs up. He is dumped and sacked back at the 25-yard line by Vinnie Carey. He didn't hit him hard, but as Manning was hit, he tried to pull away, and he stumbled, slipped, and fell, and that's a sack. Brought to you by Stakem, contributing to Stop Hunger in Philadelphia by donating $100 for every sack throughout the season to fill abundance. <laughs> Vinny Curry blasts two Giants on his way to Eli to put him on his back. Time out on the field with the score. The Giants 17, the Eagles 10 on the Eagles radio network presented by PNC Bank. Make today the day a 94 WIP. Still third and 14. They have to go all the way up to the 47 for a first down. Giants have been having a lot of trouble. They are two for 10 on third down conversions. Manning in the gun again. Manning calling for the football. He's back. He gives it off to Barkley. It's a flea flicker. Manning then shovels it off back to Barkley, who has run out of bounds. So that didn't work. Oh, you knew it was coming. You it, know, it's some, somewhere along the, the, this game, they're going to try some trickery, and that's the flea flicker yep. that just went awry. It defense really went was, awry. Defense was right there. When the ball is tossed back to Eli, he's got a... He's got an eagle draped all over him. Who was that? Looked like Josh Sweat, maybe? Yeah, and Avante Maddox was there to push out Saquon Barkley. So Ward is now a punt returner again. And he pumps, he fires, diving down and making the catch up at the 15-yard line as Zach Ertz giving them a more manageable third and 10. It'll be third and 10 from the 15. 7-12 remaining to be played in the fourth quarter. 17-10, Giants lead. Eagles have to get to the 25 for a first down. Zeminis, Eagles are 6 for 16 on third down conversions. Zeminis just gets the inside move on Vitae. Tries, tries to get him to set wide, goes inside of him, and has a free run to the quarterback. Ward to the near side. Perkins and Whiteside out to the far side of the field. Wentz and the gun. Motion. Back goes Wentz. He steps up. He looks. He is floating in. Penalty flag thrown as the pass is beyond Greg Ward. But I think we're going to get defensive holding on the Giants. I think you're right. Sam Beal. And it is against the Giants. So on the double move, Sam Beal realized that he was beaten. Greg While Ward. The quarterback was still in the pocket. Illegal contact on the defense number 23. Five-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Really good protection that time by the yeah. offensive line, giving Carson a lot of time to get the ball down the field. That's what you need. You need some time. And let me tell you something. Greg Ward may not have, have flat line speed, but he has a lot of moves and a lot of quickness and generally very dependable hands. First says something. Backs up. Looks over at Scott. It is second and eight from the 22. Wentz is back again. He's looking. He pumps. He fires. He completes it. He's got Goddard, and Goddard dives for the first down. He's very close. Goddard is very strong after making the catch, and he is close to a first down as he picks up seven, and it will put them at a third down and one. Yeah, yeah, very, very close to the, that first down marker. Goddard, when he caught the football, he knew exactly where it was. And Carson, again, right to the line of scrimmage. Wing to the far side. Slot to the near side. Wentz comes back, and he gives it to Scott, and I don't know. He's very close. I think he has it. I nope. think he has No? He's going to be I, a little bit short. Boy, I, I thought he was pretty close to that line. Now they're moving and, back. Now he's close to the line, but he's just short of the line to gain, and that makes it crunch time. So for your pregame, your in-game, or your post-game cravings, keep it Philly-Philly with her snacks, and they're going to keep that offense on the field. They tried to sneak earlier and Wentz fumbled. He's under center again. Can he sneak? Can he get it? Motion to the near side of the field. Wentz sneaks and Wentz has the first down. He has oh, yes. it. He, he has does. it. Runs into a pile of giants. He picked up two yards. He needed one. So now, to move the chains. Now seven of 20 this offense converting on fourth downs. Time is now comes the rush. Wentz steps up. He sidearms it. He completes it to Scott. 
and Scott turns a loss into about a seven-yard gain as Ogletree hangs on. No, I give a lot of this play to, to Wentz. Carson yep. Wentz. What a heck of a job, Sal. So he recognizes from the second level of that defense, they're got, they've got a free runner coming after him. He's able to step up and keep the focus downfield to get the ball to Boston Scott. It is second down and four. Slot to the far side of the field. Now Miles Sanders in the game. High snap. Wentz fakes. He's back. He's looking. He fires it out of bounds. Incomplete. He had the time initially, and then Marcus Golden came up and grabbed Wentz, and he had to arm it, all arm strength that time. He couldn't play on his feet to throw it out of bounds and put the Eagles in a third down and four. And with 3.44 to go in regulation, this is as close to a must as you can get. Yeah, they run a stunt that time up front, and they're able to spring golden free, and it forces Carson to just get rid of the football. Ward, one of three on the far side of the field. Lone receiver on the near side. Wentz in the gun. Motion hurts. Wentz takes the snap. He's back. He looks. He is looping it for Whiteside, who makes the catch. He makes the catch, even though he was held down at the 41-yard line. Boy, that is a great catch. Great catch. That was a great hands play, sponsored by Hand and Stone Massage and Spa. Facial spa, de stress after the game with massages and facials starting at $59.95. Visit handlandstone.com. You know, they got a really good jam on JJ at the line of scrimmage. Uh, and But JJ is able to then get beyond Bill and make one of those over the shoulder catches that's very, very difficult to track, but an outstanding job. What's under center? He's back. He's looking. He fires. He's got him. It's complete. Diving forward is Goddard inside the 15, down at the 13. What a throw by Wentz. Yeah, just a little seam route down the seam. And Carson Wentz, he's going to look deep first. He knows he's got the swing route on the outside, but he stays with Goddard down the seam and a really nice play. Eagles in the Mealy's red zone, a $100 donation to Justice Rescue. First and 10. They're at the Giants, 13. Free to play in regulation. Slot to the near side of the field. Sanders to the left of Wentz. Wentz on first down, looks, fires, complete, spinning, forward, diving, is Greg Ward, and he's down to the one. Greg Ward, or no, it's, we have Ward down yeah, to the one. Right. Down yeah. to the one. <laughs> so, Greg Ward runs that stop right in the middle of this zone defense, and that ball gets on him so quickly. Number 77. He's expecting contact right away, but he spins away from contact. And, and it is first and goal at the one. It's Ogletree that he spins away from. <laughs> in the gun. Second and goal. Wentz repositions Scott to his right. Wentz. Takes the snap. He's rolling. He's rolling. He looks. He fires, and it's knocked down. He wanted Greg Ward, but the pass never got beyond the five-yard line as it was batted down by Bethay. That puts them in third and goal at the two. Yeah, that's just a nice job of getting in the throwing lane. You know, they get a little bit of push at the offensive line, and, and that hurts. You know, when you're able to get that push, it just cuts off the throwing angle, cuts off that that line to your target. Now it's a tougher situation on third down. It is third and goal. Wentz under center. Wentz back. He fakes. He looks. He fires. Touchdown! Touchdown, Zach Ertz! You know where he wants to go in this situation because that is reliable. He's as reliable as tomorrow the sun's going to come up. And Carson Wentz, a little play action away, and he spins right back. He knows that Zach Ertz is going to get open, and he does. The defender tries to undercut the throw, but it's a perfectly thrown ball back in the end zone for the touchdown. Now they can tie this thing up. Every Eagles touchdown proudly driven by your Delaware Valley Honda dealers. Find the Honda dealer near you at DelvalHondaDealers.com. So here is Jake Elliott to tie the game or to attempt to. Nothing is automatic. Spotted. Kicked up. 
And good. We're tied. 17-17. That could be the play of the game. Not the extra point, but the <laughs> touchdown pass to Zach Ertz. Brought to you by Delaware Valley Acura Dealers. To experience precision crafted performance for yourself, stop by your local Delaware Valley Acura Dealer for a test drive or visit DelawareValleyAcuraDealers.com. What a difference the second half has been. This first half was miserable. Weather, drop passes, mistakes, and in the second half, they have come back from a 17-3 deficit, scored consecutive touchdowns, 14 straight points, and with under two minutes to go in regulation, this game is tied. Yeah, and nothing's over at this point, but this is how you close out games. They get the football. They had 14 plays on that possession, Merrill, for over six minutes in the possession. That's how you close out football games and got a touchdown in the end. This was the Carson Wentz that everybody loves to see. This was Carson Wentz at his best. Well, I think it all began two series ago when he started to go to the line of scrimmage and operate the offense without a huddle. I think once he started doing that, he got into a rhythm, and he liked that place, and so they went back to it, and that's where they found success. PGW for the Giants. 135 to go. Now, Sidney Jones coming in after being really cold. They've got to make sure that they get a safety over top of him on this play. Manning in the gun. Manning is back again. Looks, fires, and it's incomplete. They break it up. Great play by Sidney Jones. It was intended for Slayton, and Sidney Jones makes the play of the day. He cuts off the route. He understands that slant route's coming. He's going to get a safety to give him some help. He cuts off the route, gets a hand in, bats the football away. The Eagles are going to get it back. That was a great play by Sidney Jones, and we haven't said that a whole lot. Well, he gets one play in the ball game. He comes up big. And the punt. Does he get right back to that tempo offense where he's operating from the line of scrimmage? I think so. Eagles only have one timeout remaining, which basically takes away the running game. Three receivers out to the far side of the field. Boston Scott in the backfield. Lone receiver to the near side. Wentz takes the snap. He's back. He looks. He screens it out to Scott. He's at the 25. He's at the 30. He's at the 35. Up to the 37 goes Boston Scott with a 14-yard pickup. But Thay makes the tackle. They move the chains. They move the chains. 109, 108. They line up quickly without a huddle. It's the rush. He steps up. He fires. He completes it and rolled down up at the 45-yard line is Josh Perkins. Clock ticking. It's going to be fourth down. And are they going to go for it? It's going to be fourth down. They're going to, the clock ticking. And they have a big yard, yard and a half, almost two. Well, they, they need to do something. They get to call a timeout or get a playoff. They haven't stopped the too clock. Much. Now they, are the Giants calling a timeout? They do. Giants call a timeout with 17 First seconds charge, left. Timeout, second half, New York. 30-second timeout. Timer, please retain clock to 19 seconds. Fires. He completes it to Sanders. Sanders up across the 35. He's got a first down and an 11-yard gain when Sam Beal knocks him out of bounds. That's a nice play. That's a really nice play. You know, they line up, and, and they know what they're getting coverage-wise, and they know they've got an easy throw with no coverage on the little route out into the flat to Miles Sanders. It is first and ten up at the 46. Right. Slot to the far side of the field. Motion. Greg Ward. Wentz pitches to Scott. Tries to turn the corner. He's at the 45. 50. 45. Down to the 40-yard line. Goes Boston Scott. And that will move the chains again. A 25-yard gain. Well, now this is such a great play call, and, and I love the execution. They're able to get that orbit motion going one way, and everybody looking to that direction, but they pull big bodies out in front of Scott around the right side, and he uses that speed to get down the sideline. Nine carries now, 53 yards and a touchdown, Boston Scott. Sanders in the backfield with Wentz. Ball at the Giants, 39. Wentz fakes. 
Rolls, looks, fires, diving reception, another first down, and it's Josh Perkins. Really nice execution, moving the pocket for Carson Wentz, and Carson Wentz moving to his right side, very accurate with the football. Carson Wentz has taken charge of this game. That is Wentz and the gun. Wentz takes the snap. He's back. He's looking. He pumps. He fires. He completes it. He's got Ward, and Ward is two yards shy of a first down. Knocked out of bounds. But the catch by Ward and a bullet by Wentz for eight yards. Yeah, when Ward turns around, that ball is right on him. Nice route. Little stop right on the outside. But, boy, right in the numbers. Eagles in the Mealy's red zone. $100 donation to Justice Rescue. Do you run it here? It's third and two. I don't know. Ward out to the far side by his lonesome again. It's working. Wentz under center. Wentz gives it off to Sanders. Sanders breaks the tackle. He's got a first down. He's at the 10. He's down to the eight. Another outstanding play call by Doug Peterson. He's done such a nice job in this football game, especially in the second half, mixing up his play calls, keeping this defense off balance. The misdirection, getting the flow going one way and the action then going back the other way has been spectacular. Play from winning this game. Now they get a couple of extra bigs in. Andre Dillett, the rookie's in now to have an extra big at the line of scrimmage. Scott, the single setback. Ertz, the man in motion. Kev goes to Scott. Up the middle. He slams down to about the two. And then they throw the little guy back. But he was down <laughs> at about the two. Yeah, forward, Six yard run. Forward progress gets him down. And you're exactly right around the two yard line. But a lot of good movement by the offensive line. Beating the Giants at the line of scrimmage. And giving little Scott some space. It is second and goal at the two. Ninth play of this drive. Giants bringing in their goal line defense. Wentz slides them up. Ward to the near side. Wentz throws away his towel. He's got Scott behind him. Second and goal at the two, and then the Eagles are going to call a timeout. Yeah, Doug Peterson gets all the way out onto the field to get this timeout. This timeout brought to you by Wawa. Wawa Classic Hoagies First are made for you with delicious ingredients time. on a freshly baked roll. Wawa is the official hoagie of the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's a good timeout. You know, Doug looks out there, and there's, the Giants are piled up in the middle. Of course, I'm thinking he wants to run the ball in between the tackles or somewhere in the middle of that defense. But that is such a big defense. That's such a big defense. I would love to see Carson roll. You know, they're going to... And if it's there, just put down his shoulder and take it into the end zone. But, but it gives Doug an opportunity now to get into a different play call. He sees what they want to do defensively, and now how do you counter? You come back, you bring up... So he had a tackle eligible. He had Dallas Goddard on the field. He brings off that extra big guy, and he's going to spread that defense out a bit. He's got Ertz to the near side. Wentz in the gun. Scott to his left. Wentz takes the snap. He's looking. He fires. Complete. Touchdown. Eagles win. Zach Ertz. That's why right there. That's why Doug called that timeout. Doug wanted to reset, see what they were doing, spread them out, get the football to all reliable. Zach Ertz, game over. Eagles come from a two-touchdown deficit, and for the time being, they have saved the season. Of course, mathematically, they would have still been alive. But boy, what a lift this has to give the team. And what a lift it has to give everybody to see Carson Wentz pick this team up by his bootstraps and lead them back from behind. And a lot of heroes in this one. That little Boston Scott, you've got to love that kid. Greg Ward, Josh Perkins, J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. And on and on, and Sidney Jones what came alive with game. a play. What a you cannot game. enjoy this anymore. Every Eagles touchdown driven by your Delaware Valley Honda dealers. Find the Honda dealer near you at DelvalHondaDealers.com. 
They win it in overtime. The Giants never saw the football again. Down to Wet Howard. Okay. I'm here with Zach Ertz. I'm still trying to figure out how this happened. So, I mean, guys never stop believing, man. We're down freaking 17 to 3 <laughs> at halftime. And the message was, let's freaking show how tough we are as a team. You know, we went down to Dolphins, Miami last week. Worst game of my career. A lot of guys were mad, angry. Heck of a week of practice. We just had to find a way to win tonight. So what did you guys say to each other at halftime? Just don't stop believing, man. Don't stop fighting. Empty the tank. Um, and just don't leave anything in there because you don't want to be sitting here after this game and be like, man, if I only did this or if I only did that, we just want to leave it all out there tonight. Okay, so in the second half offensively, what did you do that was better, I guess, yeah. rather than different? We just didn't beat ourselves. I mean, uh, in the first half we had some drives, but at the end of the day, we just were beating ourselves. We had penalties. I had a penalty. Kels had a bad snap. And so we just looked at ourselves and said, hey, let's start beating ourselves. The first 12 weeks of the season, we've been beating ourselves. So let's just try and find a way to win. All right, so last question. When you get the ball in overtime, what's said in the huddle? There was nothing needed to be said. We knew exactly what we were going to do. We were going to go down, find a way to score a touchdown. It didn't matter what the circumstance was as a team. We just had to find a way to win and score a touchdown. We didn't want to give our defense back on the field. Uh, we wanted to end the game on offense. Zach, congratulations. Great game and Thank big win. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, it's, I still don't believe it, but it's a big win for the Eagles. Zach Ertz, big part of it. Back up to you. Your Delaware Valley Honda dealers. Find the Honda dealer near you at DelvalHondaDealers.com. What a win. Let Impriano roofing, siding, and windows turn over your old roof with a brand new, beautiful roof. Visit Impriano.com. Tackle your gas and electricity costs like 180,000 businesses in North America who trust direct energy business to help them make their business better. Find out how to score big by visiting business.directenergy.com. I didn't say it, but didn't say it, but what? the thought just hit me that as of this moment, the Eagles are now tied for first nice. in, in the, the NFC East. East. <laughs> Any rebroadcast of this game, and it is a classic, is expressly prohibited without the advanced written permission of the NFL, 94 WIP, and Intercom Communications. Statistician Terry Small, spotter Billy Warndill, stadium engineers Andy Coffin, then Ray Devine, stadium chief engineers Lane Massey, director of engineering Dave Scalish, engineering supervisor Ben Hill, studio engineer Anthony Foley, studio producer Mike Angelina, and studio assistants Moshe Kravitz, Dan Wilson, and Tucker Bagley, and our producer Joseph A. McPeak. Well, that will wind us up for tonight. <laughs> what a game. I mean, you know, you can say to yourself, well, who did they beat? They beat the 2-11 and 11 New York Giants. But they were in a hole, and they were playing miserably. The Giants were taking advantage. And suddenly, a little guy by the name of Boston Scott, about five foot seven, maybe 195 pounds, started to light a spark. And Carson Wentz played like the Carson Wentz you most admire and led them back. And Greg Ward made one catch. And J.J. Ortega-Whiteside made another. Miles Sanders cracked off left tackle late in the game to put them inside the 10-yard line. Offensive line blocked the way they had to block. They did so many things right. The Giants never got the ball again in overtime. And the Eagles came on. And they finally win elusive game number six. They're six and seven, but tied for first in the NFC East. That will wrap us up. Next Sunday, the Eagles visit the Washington Redskins. That's a one o'clock kickoff. Mike and I will be in Landover, Maryland to send you all the action. Coming up, it's the post-game show with Rob Cherry, Jamal Jackson, and Dan Klecko. Once again, the final score, the Eagles 23, the Giants 17. For Michael Anthony Quick, this is Merrill Reese saying so long from Lincoln Financial Field on the PNC Eagles Football Network. And welcome.